Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. Don't try to adjust your computer. There's nothing wrong. But you can see when you don't have contrast, it's hard to see depth and detail. That's better. The same applies to jewelry. And the best way to get depth and detail is through applying oxidation. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to use liver of sulfur to oxidize sterling silver pieces to create great amounts of color like this piece right here. Now, I'm going to show you how to use this product, silver black, to create deep, rich black with no range of color whatsoever. Silver black is great because you can actually control it much easier than you can liver of sulfur. For example, if I just dip into it right here, I can turn one of the circles on this piece black almost instantly and keep it just to that circle. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Likewise, I could come over to this little relief here and I could just hit the outside areas of the Buddha and make the Buddha stand out more by turning the background to a darker shade, if not entirely black, behind him. The one thing about silver black that you need to be careful with, though, is you need to use it with good ventilation. And one of my favorite tricks to do is to age a chain with it. Sometimes you'll make a piece and you'll have beautiful detail and contour and contrast thanks to oxidation, but the chain looks too new. So the solution that I like is just dip your chain into the silver black comes out nice and black. Let me grab a paper towel. You just want to let it drip off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reverse it and get the other side of the chain. It's like magic. It instantaneously turns black. So I need to let this dry and I'll put it by the ventilation so that it dries out quickly while I explain the other tools on the bench. Now, after we have oxidized something, we may need to clean up areas where we slipped and we got it on an edge or, or a detail that shouldn't be turned black or shouldn't be oxidized. To clean those areas up, you can use a number of things. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to make leather sanding sticks. These are great because you can use these with your red rouge. You just rub them on the red rouge to pick up some of the material. And now what I can do is I can go back on those areas with this tool and I can remove some of the oxidation without destroying the polish of the piece. I can maintain a bright shiny surface underneath just by using this stick. Likewise, if you don't want to make those sticks, you could purchase a polishing cloth that has a rouge impregnated layer inside of it. Works exactly the same way. A little harder to control though. You could also buy a selvit, which is a microfiber dusting cloth. These are often used by stone setters. And you could easily just swipe a little bit of the red rouge onto this material as well. There are also some chemically impregnated polishing cloths that you could use. These are available from any jewelry supplier. And a really cool thing is there are all kinds of silly little scraps and things in your lab that you could probably use. For example, this was the tag off of a leather coat that says genuine leather on it. Well, it still has a nice suede side that I could use to polish with. Here's some scraps that I had from making my leather sanding sticks. And this is a finger cot that's used in polishing. It's made out of suede. I could use this surface as well. And in a pinch, I could always take a piece of vinyl eraser and erase away the oxidation. Okay, let's check out our chain. Now the chain, yeah, it's almost completely dry. It's dry enough. Let's put one end of it into our vise. And then I will just lay the other end down for now. Then I'm going to take a piece of the chamois that was a cutaway, and I'm just going to rub it with a little bit of the red rouge. You can see I'm picking up just a little bit. Then what I do is just hold the chain, tug it tightly, and then just start to rub it with the chamois. And you can see very quickly how it's going to start to reveal a nice silver color again. And 
give you the look that this chain has been in your family forever. I hope this tip helps you with your silver jewelry projects. You can check out our other videos at the Online Jewelry Academy at www.onlinejewelryacademy.com and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.